Hello, in this video I want to show you how to a, uh, use our smallest LED driver MS493 uh, LCD D to repair those LED screens and this is so small as you see this is uh, one cent it's much smaller than the dimension actually is 55 millimeter by 17 millimeter the height is about 3.67 millimeter <coughs> because this is because of size it can actually allow you to mount on the back of the screen okay um so it's pretty much basic design and there's a three inputs uh, one is 12 volts or can they accept between 10 to 20, 20 volts this is a power ground the screen one is enable this enable can be disabled um, you know if for more deep information can visit our site we can show you how to disable that but in this video I just want to show you how to use it this one as we all know most of the LED screen problem failures first is a physical damage second is no LED backlights uh, the reason because the LED backlight part of the order is a new, usually located here. The weaving <coughs> is part of the <coughs> LED screen assembly. So even though the power supply with this LED driver has problem, that means no backlight. Unfortunately, it's part of the screen assembly, then you have to replace the whole screen. But with this one, we can solve this problem. Okay, and it's as I said, because of the dimension, it can easily use your LED drivers on the opposite of the connector on this side. If the connector on this side, the LED driver on the other side. So you can mount it here, and then, uh, you know, that's it. Um, next video, I'm going to show you how to identify the supply voltage for this LED and how to wire to a LED. Our MS screen, <coughs> 493 LED D driver is designed a six channel LED. And each channel have nine LED strip will be similar like this one uh, that installed inside. For some of the models can actually directly replace. For example, this one is models LP156H. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, LP156WH2. Um, this is the see the weaving cable, right? And then actually you can flip over, take it out, and then. See, direct plug in. See, like this model, basically you just pull the ribbon cable out, plug it in, and mount it like this. And then identify. Next thing is, if I can zoom it in, let me give it better. Now I have zoom in the camera, so that way you can see a little bit better on the image itself. See, this again, this is the uh, 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 LP156WH2. Uh, uh, they have the same. Um, Beside as our driver, so basically just pull the ribbon cable out, connect to our MS493 uh, LED drive. Next thing, we need to find out a supply voltage. Usually, uh, you know, you can un under this LED circuit. First thing you look for supply is look for the fuse. The fuse usually start with F1 or F2, the location number. In this case, this is the fuse. Okay, so basically you just connect this here, and then. Guang would be any power guang and then after that you disable the enable so you don't need to enable and that will be it this is one of the screen but let me show you the other screen that uh, <clears throat> okay this is another screen okay, this is another screen so if you look at here okay because this ribbon cable is a little bit different than what we have um, what our driver is see it's much bigger so in that case we're going to reuse these connectors so what we do is that we're going to short out all the low voltage return and uh, for, the, for the negative and then uh, the positive would be one I'm going to show you on the next, next, next uh, screens uh, while on this one we try to identify the supply voltage first so this is LED driver um, first thing you know easily okay this is see the fuse this is called service mount fuse smd fuse it's so this is a supply voltage for the old LED driver we're gonna use as a supply voltage for this ms493 okay i'm gonna show you next one and actually i did some solder on it okay <clears throat> You see this? The exact screen I just showed you. 
what we do is that we're gonna short out all this low water return and we short out this as a positive return so basically uh, we had to short out all this low voltage return and start the low voltage return here to here and then the other one goes here all right I have one it's done already I'm gonna show you and um, this one's done see this so basically you short out all this low voltage return to here this is a high voltage return this is the fuse okay fuse so supply waters, Guang, this one I already add a couple resistor to disable the enable. Again, if you want to find out more how to uh, inform me how to disable the enable, and um, please fix it outside and uh, probably uh, we're gonna show you how to disable it. So it's pretty now after that just mount, use double side tip mount it back and that will be it. Uh, it's quite easy, uh, it's not that difficult, uh, but it's of course it's the, the best way to repair your defective LED screens.